For your reference, an e-bill is an online banking notice informing you that you have a bill due. To begin, hover over Pay and Transfer. Next, click Bill Pay Home. From the Bill Pay Home page, there are a couple ways you can set up an e-bill. One way is to click this gear button. Another way is to click this red link, which you'll also find on the payment dashboard, accessible by clicking this button. Let's take a look at how it works by setting up an e-bill for AT&T UVerse. From here, we'll click Set Up e-bills. Here you'll need to enter your login credentials to your payee's website, since that is where your account information is retrieved. If you don't have any login credentials, please visit your payee's website to establish an online account, or contact your payee directly. We'll click Submit to continue. This page allows us to select the account for which we'd like to set up e-bills. Only one account is listed since we only have one AT&T UVerse account that corresponds to the account credentials we just entered. We'll click Select to finish the process. After setting up an e-bill, you'll receive a confirmation message here. We can now see an e-bill from this payee from the Quick Pay drop-down menu. We can also see the e-bill on the Bill Pay home page. The e-bill is also viewable on the payment dashboard, accessible by clicking here. The e-bill shows us the amount due and the due date. Please note that an e-bill is simply a payment reminder. It is not the same as the actual bill. To view the bill that corresponds to an e-bill, please visit your payee website or contact your payee directly for billing details.